Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Trying to find this special adapter for my camera. Now, I have this Apogee Ascent camera and the problem with this particular camera is it has one USB port that feeds both the camera and the filter wheel. It's not compatible with anything but Maxim DL. So that really limits me to what I can try. And part of my Astleberry series, I'm trying to uh, get hardware to work with it. So what I need to do is I need to disable this filter wheel. I mean, this is a really nice filter wheel. This filter wheel is an eight position filter wheel. Very nice filter wheel, never had any problems with it, but it only works in Maxim DL. So what I need to do is Take that off, get rid of my filter wheel, and attach a new filter wheel to it so I can use it on, on different types of uh, astrophotography software. Now, what I found was something that I really thought I was taking a chance on. It's um, precision parts. And I don't know if you've ever seen uh, or heard of Precision Parts before, but I was surprised. They had the exact adapter that I was looking for, and their website is very easy to use, very intuitive. And I was so excited when I found it, I tried to email them, contact them. They won't reply back to you. They just won't. They simply won't. So I took a, a couple hundred dollar gamble on the, on the adapter, and what I got was this. And what this is, is this adapts the Ascent camera to a QHYCFW3 filter wheel. So what I'm going to do now is give it a shot and see if this adapter really works. The power to the USB and we should see the filter wheel start to turn. And you can actually see that happening now so this is before I started working on it we know that it does work the adapter did come with some screws but the screws that they sent with it were, were way too short so I'm going to use the screws from the old filter wheel Fitting the adapter onto the camera has fit, as promised. Now let's try to attach it to the filter wheel. It has this adapter. I'm sure this fits on all the QHY cameras. And the reason why I selected the QHY filter wheel is because they promised that there were drivers for all of their uh, filter wheels. So I'm, that's what I'm counting on is that the filter wheel driver will work. So I'm going to have to remove this special adapter. And you saw as we powered it on, it went to position one, which, which makes a lot of sense. But what I have to do next is I have to remove this adapter on the front here. And it looks like there's four screws. I can see two screws here and there's two screws behind the filter wheel. Expose the four screws for the QHY adapter. Next step is to use these threads on the filter wheel and tighten it down. Whoa! Uh -oh. <laughs> Got a problem here. See that there's seven screws that hold it on and there's also this very delicate wire here that uh, goes to the motor. Uh, on the other side I see only one, two, three, four screws. Move the four screws on the cover plate, but I still can't move this cover plate off. I did notice 
However, there's another screw on the opposite side on the in, inside of the film. Notice that there's like a little bearing on there and it wasn't really very tight. It wasn't a very tight screw, but it did release this cover plate now. That little screw there was the final screw to loosen the plate. But now I have this wire that goes to this sensor on here that's locked down really tight where I cannot move it. So I, it's got some kind of like silicone sealant or something on there preventing it from moving. So I guess I'm going to have to take this off next so I can move it two screws off of the sensor right there there are these two little fine insulating watchers between the circuit board and then what I was able to do then is pull the wire through a little bit and I don't know if that's going to give me enough clearance now sure would have been nice if there was some kind of quick disconnect there now we're going to try to turn the adapter on it does clear thank goodness huh that's kind of an odd position for it to stop looks a little funky <laughs> uh, I wonder if I could do that alone in an effort to maybe make it sit a little better I marked this side and it's on there now so I can only do one of two things I can flip the adapter plate 180 and Let's see if this spins on the wheel any better. Okay, that looks a little better. Yeah, I think I'll keep it like that. So now we have to put it all back together and let's hope it works cover plates back on now so now we can turn this over and start to assemble it next we'll put on the filter wheel uh, I didn't see anywhere on the filter wheel where there's any kind of marks on there that identify where it would go on the hub so I'm just gonna put it back and hope it lines up on number one when we get all done we're going to go ahead and plug it in and see if it spins and if it spins correctly and lands on position number one we've got a success and yes it did it landed on number one filter so it appears that it's working the same way it did before uh, the only difference is now is I have an Apogee A8050 attached to the back side. And I'm glad that I moved the, the camera over here to this other, other side because it was up over here. It was kind of sticking out of the way. But, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a good 
uh, solution and allow me to use this camera a little bit longer and be able to use it with uh, different kinds of software. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching.